Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So here we are. What we're going to do in this video is just quickly go through what we've done. We made an enemy system, made sure that the tile map can spawn enemies and the tile map can uh, also store them into an active enemies um array so you can actually see them so that's pretty much what we've done but i thought we'd change it up a little bit and do something a little different for a little while uh what i want to do is i want to get into weapons again and we have <clears throat> melee weapons we have weapons we have the sword we're actually drawing it and everything it's, it's moving around and rotating um, but we can't drop items per se um, and i'm gonna make a little class called inventory and I'm gonna do it under item and that might be a little weird but we need something to store these items in for the player and it's gonna be a little more C++ knowledge in here so we're gonna use uh, make our own dynamic array but that'll be a cool training if you haven't done that um, I'm just gonna call it inventory and we can add this into the player later um, there we go I'm just gonna put that into item inventory put that into item right there and then the header file as well here we go header file into item and there we go now we have our inventory class everything is good um, there we go and this is going to include we just save these uh, include item.h that's good so we're going to be storing items um, it won't be a problem since the item is a base class very good I'm just going to double check yeah there we go um, very nice okay so once that's done let's get started here my idea is to be able to add and remove items as we wish so we're just gonna have basic functions like add sort uh, filter maybe we can do a bunch of things in inventory it's gonna be a fun little class to create I'd say um, and it's gonna contain a double pointer to item uh, so what you want to do is you want to do an item pointer pointer all right and we'll just call this, uh, we'll call this, I don't know what we'll call this. We'll call this uh, item array. All right, we'll just call it item array. That's fine, doesn't matter. Uh, we need an um, unsigned number of items. Unsigned capacity. So this is going to be the max capacity we can have. At the moment and it's going to be a very nice dynamic array uh, there shouldn't be an issue here now we're going to make a void initialize function i think it's initialize I'm not sure we'll keep it like that void uh, clear or free memory and these are all private functions all right void expand all right we'll start with that and we'll see where we end up let's just go ahead and define all of these like this once that's done you should have all your private functions here there we go functions good very simple very nice constructors and destructors. boom okay now when we're working with a pointer pointer it's gonna be a little different from what you might have done we might have done it somewhere here usually I just use vectors uh, and stack and stuff but to make our own is a little different I do have tutorials on this if you in case you want to watch that in my C++ series but We'll, uh, we'll get to it in here as well. What you want to do in the start to initialize this array, just to start it off, it needs to be 
we need to set the capacity. So let's say the capacity starts at, um, you can hold max 10 items. All right, it's a good capacity to start off at. We need number of items, zero. So what you can think of this as is the size of your box and this is the number of items in the box, right? So this is the max amount right now. This is what will increase later if we need more, but this is to save memory. So you don't, you don't kind of have this uh, array with a thousand elements ready to go. You just have it at 10. When you need more than 10, it will expand to double and then double that and double that. So it's a, it's a little more efficient. Once that's done, we're going to do this item array. Since this is our array, new item pointer array. Okay, this might be a little complicated, but don't freak out. This capacity. So basically what we're doing, for those of you who are not 100% sure, let me just tell you what, what's going on. So we have created a big box here. Well, let's say like that, big box. And then you can imagine it has 10 smaller boxes. Now if we didn't make it a pointer pointer, what happens is each of these boxes will have Sorry about that box. There we go. We'll just have 10 here. Imagine 10. Each of these boxes will have an object in it. Okay. It's not a point. It's a, it's an array of items. Then we're going to have literally items in here. Even if they're empty and not being used, there'll be items in here. Okay. But what happens if you have a pointer array, we'll have pointers to items in all of these boxes instead. Okay. These are pointers. And then when you need an item, we're going to create an item through that pointer and then we'll have a, an item object occupying memory. Otherwise it's just gonna be a pointer. And that makes life a little easier. So anytime you want an object, we're gonna go to that point and we're gonna create an actual weapon object here. That's my sword, that's my ax, uh, that's my spear, whatever. Okay, so that's kind of how that works. Just a very quick little tutorial on that. So that's what we're doing now. We're creating that big box of empty pointer boxes. And that's all you want to do in initialize. You don't want to do a lot more. What we could do now is we could do four. We could go through the entire thing, this capacity, and we can just initialize all of this. So you, you just set this item array equals null pointer. Okay, that's what you can do. So this is a start of that. Um, and then we're going to create one more function actually, which is, which is good to have. And that's going to be expand. And then we're going to have void nullify. I'll just call it nullify const unsigned from. So this is also something that you guys are going to ha have to get used to. And this function is going to set everything to null pointer. So basically what we did here, that's what it's going to do, but it's going to start at, so I'm just going to control X that. You say this nullify. Remember, don't forget to set this from to zero as a default because it's not always you want to nullify every uh, the entire thing. All right, so you have this from variable which will say, okay, I want to nullify stuff from this point onward. And that's going to be really helpful when we increase the capacity. So it's a good safety feature to have. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to say from, and then go all the way to capacity and nullify it. And here I'm just doing it from zero. I'm not giving it anything. So it's gonna nullify everything. Uh, free memory is going to delete everything. And this is also a very special type of thing where what you could do is you could free the entire thing and then you have to initialize it again. But free memory for me is going to be well, it's going to be the entire thing, actually. We're going to have another function here called clear. And that's going to do a different thing. So just don't get get it confused. This is going to free everything and it's going to just make sure everything is okay. Um, so I'm going to set that to zero. It's going to go through a uh, number of items. It's going to go through all of that. Not to capacity, really. It doesn't need to. just needs to delete everything here. And then we'll delete the entire array. Don't forget this. Because if you forget this, you're not going to delete that main pointer. So if we go back to paint, I just want to show you this. You have your boxes, box of boxes. 
but you have this pointer don't forget this pointer it's actually pointing to this box that's what we're creating so we're gonna x this then you need to x that as well uh, well basically when you x that you're xing this I mean then you have to x all of these weapons here as well from all the pointers so that's what we're doing in the for loop and when you delete this at the end you're deleting the entire array as well hopefully that made sense uh, so that's your free memory right there and we're getting started with inventory in the next one we're gonna go ahead and continue with expand and just start stuff off put stuff in here and we should be good to go all right guys there you go thank you so much for watching thanks for sticking with me take care uh, check out the description box also check out discord if you want and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.